Let us now talk about the control of mitotic division. Control of mitosis. When we were talking about the cell cycle, we said that it is in the genetic material of a cell that how many times would it divide. But there are certain factors which are responsible or which are believed to be the controlling factors for mitosis. The first one is known as cell surface area to volume ratio. Cell area to volume ratio. An area of the cell is given in square whereas the volume is given in cube. We will take an example to understand what exactly is happening when the cell size changes or this ratio changes and how does that ratio uh, uh, result or in cell division that is mitotic division. Say we take a cell which is in size 1 centimeter by 1 centimeter that is length is 1 centimeter. Uh, height is 1 centimeter, width is 1 centimeter. So, area would be calculated by 1 into 1 and that is going to be 1 square centimeters and if we calculate the volume, it is going to be 1 into 1 into 1 that is length, breadth and height and this is again going to be 1 centimeter square and this is centimeter cube. So this is the ratio. Ratio is 1 is to 1. Now let us change the size of the cell. Area say the cell is 2 centimeters in all the direction. So area would be 2 into 2 that is 4 square centimeters and volume is going to be 2 into 2 into 2. This is going to be 8 cubic centimeters. Ratio has changed. Now it has become 1 is to 2. So as the cell size goes on increasing, that means the outer part has become bigger and the volume, the surface area is changing but the volume is not able to support or if the volume is increasing and the surface area is not increasing in the same respect then that much of cytoplasmic content will not be able to support the cell. So whenever these kind of ratios change this triggers cell division. The second theory or reason for cell division or mitosis is nucleo cytoplasmic ratio. This is also believed to change or is responsible for cell division. Again, what exactly is nucleocytoplasmic ratio? Here the ratio is of nuclear mass to cytoplasmic mass and it is written as nucleoplasmic ratio and the abbreviation which is used is NP, nucleoplasmic. So it is nuclear mass to cytoplasmic mass. If we take the example of the cell which is an interface, if this is the cell which has gone into, inter, before it enters into the interface, it has its nucleus. When it goes through the entire interface, it has undergone changes like G1, S, G2. In G1, growth takes place. In S, DNA replication takes place. And then again, there is growth. So, here, what is the change that we are seeing? That the nucleus becomes very big. And obviously, if we compare these two, nucleus to cytoplasmic ratio has changed. Nuclear mass has increased. Cytoplasmic mass has not increased in the same proportion. So, now the nucleus must split and that triggers 
cell division or mitotic division. So whether it is surface area to volume ratio or it is nucleus to cytoplasmic uh, mass ratio. That is the index which we talk of. Nucleoplasmic index. And this abbreviation is for this nucleoplasmic index. So these two can be considered as the reasons for controlling the mitotic division. One more thing which we will be discussing here are certain substances which trigger the mitotic division. Those substances are known as mitogens. And the substances when they trigger this process of mitosis, we call that or that process as mitogenesis or uh, have, uh, the process continues. Which are those substances which are considered as mitogens? Substances that trigger or stimulate mitotic division. They are the mitogens. Uh, we talked about a substance when we were talking of cell cycle and those substances, they are proteins and they are known as cyclins. So here when we use the examples of mitogens, cyclins, they are considered as mitogens, they trigger mitosis. Certain phytohormones like auxins, gibberlic acid or gibberlin, they are also considered as mitogens. Uh, insulin is also believed to trigger mitosis. So another example is insulin which is also mitogenic. That means it triggers mitosis. Slightly higher temperature also triggers mitotic division. And one more phytohormone, cytokinin, its name itself is cyto for cytoplasm and kinin is for division, cytokinesis. So that hormone that is cytokinin. These are some important substances which trigger mitotic division and that is why they are called mitogens. So these three reasons apart from the information which is already there in the genes of that cell that how many times it is going to divide. These are the three main factors which are considered as important factors for controlling mitotic division. It could be surface area to volume ratio and we have taken this example whenever these ratios change that change in ratio is responsible for mitosis to start. And that is why we are calling it control of mitosis. The second is nucleocytoplasmic ratio. Here, if nucleus to cytoplasmic ratio changes, as we have seen in case of interphase, then that also results into uh, starting of mitosis. And then there are certain substances or conditions. These substances, whenever they are available, then they also stimulate cell division. Certain phytohormones are there, cyclins are there. We have used this word cyclin when we were talking of uh, interface, the, especially G1. Insulin, temperature, whenever the temperature increases a little bit, then that temperature is also responsible for starting mitotic division. So these three are the important factors which control mitotic division.